Clouds and radar has that first round of storms moving in as we go toward the 8 to 9 o'clock hour tonight west of Detroit, west of Flint. But after midnight tonight, we could see some very heavy rainfall as we're going out the door early tomorrow morning. This is 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Detroit and Point South, oranges and reds. That could be some of those stronger thunderstorms than that heavy rainfall. But tomorrow's not a washout. We'll hold on to a few showers by the time we get to 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then I think we end the day with some sunshine, sending our highs well into the 90s tomorrow before the clouds increase Tuesday night and we get another round of thunderstorms late Tuesday night into early on Wednesday morning. Models going back and forth on the timing and strength with this one. We will keep a very close eye on it, but then we've got another round of storms on the way as we head into Thursday. Guardians versus Tigers this evening. It's a doubleheader today. The second game first pitch right about 640 near 90 degrees by 5 o'clock. Very toasty. Grab the water. We're down into the low 80s by 9 o'clock tonight with the rain clear closing in on our western counties. It's going to be a very stormy next two to three days, but we go from the 90s tomorrow down to the 80s by the time we get to Thursday. Once this system clears on Thursday, drier weather moves into the region. We are looking at near average temperatures Friday all the way through early next week. Mid 80s on Friday, giving way to the low to mid 80s Saturday, Sunday and into next Monday. If you're heading out tonight, good reminder, don't forget to download the local forecasters app. You can use the QR pointed on the screen there to get that app. Get interactive radar, the weather alerts that may come with this all in the palm of your hand. It is free. You can search WDIV in the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Not a widespread severe weather event, Karen, but we could see those stronger thunderstorms and that heavy rain in some areas around here, as we know, are prone to flash flooding. Right, right. So we're going to keep a very close eye on it. We appreciate it. Thank you, Absolutely. Brian.